at Minicorp, we have just a little bit of a problem. Let me explain. Hi. Hiya. I have a question. Go for it. What does Minicorp do? It is a digital agency, digital product agency that builds apps and MVPs for companies that don't have their own internal um, IT teams. Okay, bye. Bye. That actually wasn't, that wasn't bad. Let's try another one. <laughs> Lee just sent a message going, I've no makeup on, I'm raging. Yo. Uh, I have a question for you. Go on. What does Minicorp do? Minicorp builds exceptional digital products. <laughs> Love it, thanks, bye. That was Mindigas. I thought it was. He's not too bad now, in fairness. Yo. How are you, John? How are you? Well. I have a question. Good, how are you? Okay, shout. What does Minicorp do? What does Minicorp do? Um, provide top class digital solutions to customers all over the world. Lovely. Bye. <laughs> Hello. How are you? I'm Paco. I have a question for you. Are you ready? Yeah. What does Minicorp do? Oh. It's a vehicle primarily designed to turn Brian Kenny into a billionaire. <laughs> um, so you see, that's the thing, because I always disappointingly describe you as a dev shop that can be trusted, which I know is a kind of a backhanded compliment, if you know what I mean. But ironically, it's always, I mean, a conversation, a deep conversation about product with somebody. And I go, you know, you have to talk to Brian Kenny and the guys in Minicorp. Love it. You're a gent. Yeah. Thank you for your time. Give us a little, give, wait a minute, give us a little, give, give a little, little, little wink. Ah, oh, fantastic. <laughs> See All right, darling. I have a question for you. I have a question, I have a question, I have a question. What does Minicorp do? Minicorp is a digital branding agency uh, which makes things happen for clients. Let's put it that way. I love it. See you later. See you, buddy. Bye. I know it sounds crazy because like what we do, what we do isn't that mad or innovative or new. It's not something that's just completely new that we've all of a sudden created and nobody else ever did before. What we do is we bring clients into rooms like this at the beginning and we use whiteboards like this. And what we do in these whiteboards is we draw we try things, we go like, ooh, this, that's a really bad example, but realistically what I'm trying to say is, we sit in rooms like this together with our clients and we deconstruct what they're trying to build. And Minicorp brings all of this wealth of advice and excitement to the project where we're the professionals in the room that are guiding or being like Sherpas to help our clients navigate that space. Why are you building a digital product? Why are you building this company? What's the overall goal? Why does the world need it? How are you going to launch it? And what is the strategy? And then we start to deconstruct it by flow by flow, how somebody is going to use their app. Like, if you check out the Tesla app, for example, like somebody went through all of this. They said, uh, when you click on this button, it will go to this page and it will kind of, you know, they, they went through the entire flow and it started in a room like this, where somebody 
starts to come up with concepts and flows as to how their idea is going to all piece together. Once an overall decision is made, we then move to the next stage, which is, let me, let me show, one second. So then, once we have gone through all of the user flows and designs and everything back down on the whiteboard, we then have absolute legends like this guy, Keith. <laughs> Who then creates these wonderful things. Look at this. We have all of these beautiful UI designs is what these are called. So these are taking the wireframes, taking the user flows and developing UI designs and designs of how the entire app is actually going to work or look with beautiful branding and identity, pixels that look so pretty you could give them a kiss and it just makes everything all come together. We have like a real world representation of what the app is gonna look like. The only thing that's left is engineering. So then the next part of the whole equation is going to here. So this is where, this is where Brian sits, a different Brian. And he's currently listening to some crazy music, but he also like, he writes all of this stuff, which is all of the code and all of the internal plumbing and engineering that turns. So it turns from this, hey Charlie, to this. So within here, this is the new Sisu booking flow that we've done and it's super slick and everything looks amazing. So you can see you're booking your different appointment slot for gray stones for a nice lip augmentation and you're gonna book in with Tiernan King. I'm not gonna do that right now, but we can kind of see how this whole puzzle pieces together. We're taking something from a board downstairs with a client, which is just an idea or a concept. We're then taking our experience and we're starting to pepper in how we believe you should do it and what the most optimal strategy and way that we've seen in the past for it to get done is. We then design it and we build it and we measure how our impact on that product has been. For example, with the Sisu booking flow, we increased our conversion rate by like over 50 or 60% or something, just by being really diligent and looking into how we can drive the most amount of force within the booking flow and drive conversion rates higher through our impact within the product. So it's huge. So you see, we have a team of absolute legend that all work within Minicorp in order to drive the future of our clients, businesses, digital products and apps forward. And the only reason being is because when this guy learns something, then this guy also learns the something and how we all make sure that as a team, we distribute our knowledge amongst each other. If I learn something, how does Keith become aware that I've learned that something so that he knows within the collective team that we have also learned that something. But there is a book, there's a book called Start With Why. And I think one of the hardest questions that we've ever got asked in Minicorp is why? Why does Minicorp exist? There's a couple of different circles. They kind of say the nucleus is the why, then there's the how, and then there's a what. So what does Minicorp do? You can kind of see from multiple different people on the phone. We build apps, we do branding and identity, we do lots of different things. We also know how we do it, as in like it's these wonderful people and the whole team and how we bring it together in order to really do it and to produce it. We kind of understand the why. For example, like, we're so closely connected with all of the KPIs and all of the measurements. And when we launch like the booking flow, for example, we want to see what our impact has been and whether it's gone up and to the right. We tend to like log in all the time. Like I'm logging in on my car to see how the performance is, or I'm logging in first thing in the morning and last thing at night to see what my impact on these things has been. There's an inherent reason why we kind of all feel it and we understand it, but we can't articulate it. And because, And because we can't necessarily articulate it, 
then it means that when you ring people on the phone and you say, what does Minicorp do? Not even the how or why, they struggle. And they're going, well, uh, you build apps maybe? Or like you do, I don't know. What do you want me to say, Brian? And that's like, that's the part of the problem that we need to fix next. I think I've heard it explained best where you should be able to tell a eight year old child what you do that eight-year-old child should be able to tell another eight-year-old child and then listen back to what the second child says what you do because if you can't break it down into really simple easy to understand language what happens is the people who could have potentially recommended you can't now because they don't know what you do they can't recommend you to the right person because they don't know under what circumstance to recommend you so the awesome and wonderful Connor McCarthy has started to really scratch at our door to figure out what what that is and what is our why and how do we get it from a part of the osmosis within the office into something that is more two or three or five words or something. Where are you going? Jack? Where are we going for lunch? Starve and Jack. So essentially what we're trying to do is we need to uncover our why and I'm very scared that it's going to become a multi-month or taking far too long. Like a, we kind of know what it is, but we don't know what it is. And until other people can really articulate what it is, I don't think our job is done here. But if you have ever come across this problem before yourself, stick some, uh, some advice or information in the comments so that we can help push this puppy forward. Thank you all for watching. It's amazing to see the subscribers continually grow, which is insane. And also like people People writing comments and sending them in through LinkedIn and social networks and stuff. It's it's savage. Thank you all so much. I hope you're having an amazing day and catch you all in the next one. Bye.